Good afternoon and welcome to the Sports Broadcasting Camp News Center. I'm Jack Sullivan and joining me here are Lawson Boutros, Oscar Griffin, and Grant Truitt. Is there a new best basketball player in the world? Or is it the same guy many have been touting as the best in the world for the last three years? One can certainly argue that the Mavericks Luka Doncic is the GOAT now that he has led his upstart Dallas Mavericks team into the NBA Finals for Game 1 against Boston on Thursday night. The perennial All-Star is averaging 31 points, 9.4 rebounds, and 8.2 assists per playoff game in the 12 wins over the LA Clippers, Oklahoma City Thunder, and Minnesota Timberwolves. Dallas was the number five seed in the West heading into the playoffs, but have been unstoppable, especially on the road, where they won all three games against the Wolves in the Western Conference Finals. Meanwhile, the East's top-seeded scene, the Celtics, are heavily favored to beat Dallas and earn the team's first NBA title since 2008. Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum are argu arguably just as good, if not a better Tatum, than Dallas' terrific two and are more playoff experienced. The Celtics are also counting on a healthy Kristaps Porzingis to help them lead to a title. Dallas nearly had a second team in a major sports final this week, but the Stars were defeated in the NHL Western Conference Finals by Edmonton last weekend. Edmonton will play Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final instead at Florida Saturday night. The Panthers, who had 110 regular season points, and advanced to this post by beating Tampa Bay, Boston, and the New York Rangers, are red hot and poised to win their first title. The Panthers lost to Vegas in the finals a year ago. The Oilers arguably have their best squad since the Wayne Gretzky days, led by its star center, Connor McDavid, who's playing in his first cup in nine years of being in the NHL. He has five goals and 26 assists in 18 playoff games and is a three-time Hart Trophy MVP winner in the league. Florida has captain Alexander Barkov, who leads them in points, toughness, and highlight plays. Other stars are Matthew Kachuk and goalie Sergei Bobrovsky. Edmonton is trying to become the first Canadian team to win a cup since 1993. The Oilers goalie is Stuart Skinner. It's not football season yet, but there is giant football news. According to an ESPN report, Justin Jefferson will not be leaving the Minnesota Vikings. The network is reporting that Jefferson has signed a four-year deal, four deal worth $140 million. The deal, brokered by W. Wim Football, makes Jefferson the highest paid non-quarterback in league history. Jefferson passes A.J. Brown and Amon Ra St. Brown as the highest paid receivers in the league. Dallas, meanwhile, is hoping to come to terms with C.D. Lamb, its star whiteout. Lamb missed the team's minicap last week and will reportedly be fined according to an ESPN report. In baseball news, the MLB has announced that it has permanently banned San Diego Padres player Tupica Marianzo, or Marant, yeah, whatever, as, <laughs> for betting on games as a member of the Pirates last season. Commissioner Rob Marinfield said that the MLB has long-standing no-tolerance policy on betting on baseball by active ball players. He said that Marianzo has made over 200 bets <laughs> involving the Pirates last year. 61 games into the MLB season, two long-standing franchises, the Yankees, with the most World Championship Series of all time, and the Phillies, the team with the most losses of all time, are tied for first with the best record in the MLB, with records of 42 wins and 19 losses. The Phillies have been doing it with pitching. Zach Wheeler, Ranger Suarez, and Aaron Nola have combined for 23 wins, while Bryce Harper and Alec Bohm are having MVP years at the plate. The Yankees are being carried by Aaron Judge and Juan Soto at the plate. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Sports Broadcasting Camp Center. Tune in tomorrow for more sports news. For my co-host, Lawson Boutros, Oscar Griffin, and Grant Truitt. I'm Jack Sullivan. Thank <laughs> you.